What if I told you that you were exactly the same as your biggest role model? Well, it's true, and I'm going to tell you why. If you read autobiographies and memoirs, and you listen to podcasts and interviews, you'll understand that these accomplished people were exactly the same as us when they first got started. And although they absolutely work to get to where they are today, maybe they're an actor, a singer, a powerful CEO, they actually have the same qualities that you do. They just figured out how to extract them. Look, I know it's hard to believe that we are confident, we are powerful, we are intelligent, and we are as amazing as we'd like to be if we're not there yet or don't believe that we could ever get there. But the only difference between you and that person you're thinking of right now is your mindset. See, the people you aspire to be were just like you. And then they started confronting their fears. They started stepping outside of their comfort zones. They said yes to that opportunity. They did the inner work that had to be done while they were going through a hard time in order for them to come out stronger on the other side. See, the secret behind success is simply the way that we think about ourselves, which allows us to feel more comfortable executing on things that most people would be too scared to do without that confident, abundant, and aware mindset. But what's holding us back? Changing your thoughts will change your life. Imagine something in your mind right now that you have been so badly wanting to pursue. A new career, a significant other, a new business venture, a vacation, a move across the country. And then there is a split second where you have a glimmer of hope, a vision that runs across the movie screen in your mind of what it could really be like if you achieve that goal or reach that destination. And that split second of hope breaks down quite quickly for most of us. These stories start listing all of the reasons why we think we can't. Our families won't support us. We're not pretty, smart, or accomplished enough. It's too much money. It's too risky. We'd get judged and made fun of by our peers. These victim stories will begin formulating everything possible that stops us from ever pursuing anything that we want, no matter how small. The victim stories are actually our defense mechanism. They're defending our honor from anything risky. Risk is the victim story's worst enemy. It will tell us anything to avoid risk and us potentially getting hurt. We then begin to believe these stories and they become our excuses for not doing the things that we've always wanted to do. But the thing is, when we confront that victim story head on, it begins to back down. Consider this like standing up to a bully, letting it know that this kind of behavior is not going to be tolerated, nor will you let it affect you. The bully is definitely going to still continue to bully you, but when you show it that you're not affected by its words, it becomes less powerful and we can then control our actions, attitude, and effort. For many of us, we let these thoughts control our entire lives until we die. We lay on our deathbeds regretting that we weren't more positive and happy, regretting that we didn't take that risk or experience that pleasure or go after that goal. You're never going to be 100% ready and it's never going to be the right time, but that's the point. It means that every moment is also the right moment, so if you want it, you just have to do it.